girl Joy back with another banger. But I'm out here to see everybody. What's up, Bath Waves? The show just finished, the Eddie B show, and it was a long drive. I will say this I don't think the show was worth the long drive for an hour. Anyway, if he was in Houston, then it's fine. But driving two hours for the show, no. It just seemed like I love I love him to death. I love him to death. It seems like the show is based around the disdain for teaching and the frustrations of teaching. But I actually enjoy it and I actually enjoy my kids. So it was like, yeah, I got everything he was saying, but you know, it wasn't as uplifting and inspiring. I guess I wish he could weave in a little bit of that, a little bit of the good, but it was all more geared towards the negative. <sighs> What's up guys? I just made it back home and that was a long, that was a lot of driving. So it was an hour and 45 minutes each way so almost two hours each way so for what is that three and a half hour drive mm -mm. i don't think it was i don't think the show was worth that um he uh performed for an hour but if you're an educator or just someone who likes comedy um, I would say just see for yourself. It was it was okay. It was okay. You know, sometimes when you go see a show or something, you kind of want to, well, for, for me, you kind of want to leave a little uh, uplifted and, you know, ready for the new school year and blah, blah, blah. No, kind of focused on all the negative things about school. Well, honey, those teachers came out in droves. Oh my gosh. I sat next to the, the worst people ever. It was a group of teachers. It was a group of teachers that would not stop talking. Oh, that's Miss Johnson. Oh, the, oh mm -hmm, that's oh, K Sean. K Sean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they started having conversations and stuff throughout the, the performance. I couldn't even hear. So it was almost like they were like students. Stop talking. They were worse than students. We're trying to sit and get whatever he's talking about. You can't hear because they talking. Just like the students in school. And so that was kind of irritating. That took some of the joy out of it too. A group of... Ooh, it had to be. Mm. But I want to I wanna go to a conference or something that's motivational, that's uplifting. I enjoy teaching. I, it's, I, I told Sydney the other day that I, I'm obsessed. So I'm always reading something, looking at something, or listening to something that's educational. Because as a teacher, you always want to get better and you reflect on your previous year. How can you do things better? How can you be a better teacher, a stronger teacher? And so it's like you're getting a, another chance with, you know, another group of kids to set the tone for the year. So, you know, and I'm doing, um, um, a lot of things differently this year in preparation for the new school year so I should have all my plans done for the entire year instead of being stressed out every Sunday then I'm doing a, um, a two-day planning session with the teacher group that I joined I just joined this group it's kind of pricey but the resources and the support that you get is out of this world I'm glad I made it back home. That was a rough ride, but it wasn't too bad because I'm listening to a good audio book and a good storyline. So I really didn't mind the drive at all because I, I really enjoy, I really enjoy my audio books. <laughs> I tried to play the DVD that's in the back of this book um, to a very successful teacher, um, but it's like every teacher has read some of this i've read it i had this book since my first year of teaching but i like to go back to it and my my thing is that i'm not always consistent that's my problem <coughs> and baby 
I was praying I wouldn't cough during the show. So one of my uh, girlfriends, she sent me some Buckley's out, some old school stuff. I had my iced tea. I shook that Buckley's up. I was like, Joy, you cannot be coughing in this place. And I was upset because I forgot my mask. So I was like, ugh. So I did not wear a mask. And, um, but it was a packed house downstairs. And, um, you know, everybody loved my outfit. It's like... It was like nobody was really dressed up. I'm I'm always gonna do me. It's, I, I was like, maybe it's just the New Yorker that's in me that'll never leave. I'm always gonna be, ooh, baby, what? What? They was like, and one lady was like, are you a teacher? Yes, I am, ma'am. I think most of us here are. <laughs> yes, I am. She was like, I just love everything from top to bottom yes yes and um so it was cute so i got a lot of compliments on my outfit baby let me tell you i've had this dress i used to have a hat to match it you couldn't tell me nothing you couldn't tell me not honey I, so i've had this dress probably 25 years Cause I had it, ooh, for my first marriage. Yeah, so Clinton, he'll be 20. So I'm gonna say 25, 27 years I've had this. It's just that I, I just keep my stuff. It's not that I have a lot of stuff, I just keep my stuff. I, and, I, and I wear it, so I haven't worn this in years. But I was just like, oh no, I'm out by myself. I gotta bring it, honey. I gotta bring it. And yes, I did. Yeah, well, in my opinion, I did. To y'all, I'll probably look like a fool. But oh well. Oh well, honey. Oh well. Okay. I had a good time. Oh, it was all right. And they played good music. They had a DJ and everything. So they got the crowd pumped up before the show. So that was, um, the music was good. The DJ did a really good job getting the crowd all pumped up and stuff. Let me tell you, they were dancing in the aisle, child. All, all, all different colors. They were having a good time, and I was like, okay, they turning out. They turning out up in here. And so the music was good. <laughs> I was feeling like the little stepchild, cause you know I don't know the words to any song. I don't. That's just not my thing. I'm more of a rhythm and beat person. And I used to be a club head, honey. Lived in a club. That was my life. I think I started clubbing. I was probably 15, 16 years old. I just had to dance. And my mom, she didn't bother me. I wasn't into any type of illegal activities. Drinking. Ugh, you couldn't catch me with a drink, honey. I just wanted to dance. My group of friends... And it, like, we just wanted to dance. We were in a club all the time. And then, uh, so I was probably hitting that as I got older. I was probably hitting the club on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Started on Thursday. There are some clubs that was open on Sunday. Oh my gosh, house music? Oh, I went through the house music phase too, child. I love good house music. It's just, it just seems like it just takes over your spirit, your soul. Yes, yes. Oh, I, yeah, I used to be a house head. I used to do the Jamaican parties because one of my best friends was Trini. Uh, you know, a lot of my, 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 my past experiences, they were <laughs> either Jamaican, Trini. No, I never was Haitian. One time, one Puerto Rican, white, dated a couple of white guys back in the day. Uh, yeah, I've been all, all over, all around, they, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. various nationalities, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there's no discrimination here, <laughs> and that's how I tell you, if you are homophobic, or you got color issues, you don't like this color, you don't like that color, this is not the platform, I am not the one for you, so, you know, I take your hate and all that somewhere else. Okay, I'm I'm cool with my five subscribers, honey. Just cool with the fat five, baby. Okay, okay. You know, so it's all love and peace here. Um, no drama. 
and you know so that I can or I just block people and it, lately it's been very very good my views and stuff have gone down but I'm okay with that too but it's been filled with positivity so that that just warms my heart and you, I always have that one or two people always want to give me the thumbs down it just seems like ever since I've been, been a youtuber I always have that one person one or two give me that thumbs down I wonder if it's the same person they still watch no thank you boo I don't know why you hate me I'm gonna kill you with kindness I love you <laughs> Oh, so listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I got home, I'm ready to talk. I, my sleep pattern is off. Last night, I went to bed at 4 o'clock in the morning. I just could not stop looking at teacher stuff. <laughs> I just couldn't stop it. So I'm trying to watch movie, trying to braid my hair. So I braided the back of my hair. And then I uh, rebraided the front of my hair. And I might do a few at the top. Not much. And so... The end of next month, I'll spend two to three days in color my hair and just re rebraid the whole thing. Yeah. Maybe I won't. Th Oof. No, because it was locking up. So, yeah, I'll just rebraid, treat, condition, and do the whole thing. I just got this new product called Basque and something. It's supposed to help with hair growth. And my edges are getting a little thin or whatever so I'm trying that on my hair <clears throat> and I'm okay I'm getting older so it ain't no big deal I don't have a problem slapping on a wig just my little edges when I was like no that's that's not baby hair that's no hair <laughs> but I still got my edges though boo still got my edges though but you know just right right over here they're just a little thin so I want to see if that stuff works and I will let you know I'm gonna let you know I need to do a little picture and she said um I could put the oils and stuff while I have the braids in my hair so anyway listen 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 I'm gonna go after this cuz I, I just feel talking to her tonight why well, should go live anybody do not cuz I'm gonna be on here anyway you know I just started watching manifest that's good y'all better watch that you better ask somebody <laughs> It's good. Manifest. And then I just watched um, Netflix. It's on Netflix. Um, something with Liam Neeson. I love Liam. Liam Neeson. I love him. He's, he's a phenomenal actor. Phenomenal actor. And Lawrence Fishburne was in it too, but he wasn't in it a long time. They killed him off real quick. He was the first to go. I was quite surprised. <laughs> he was, they were probably like, we can't afford you, so we're only going to have you uh, in, the, in the movie for the first 10 minutes. And then, then you got to go because you, you, you're too expensive. We can't have you and Liam Neeson. So we got to choose one or the other. And you know, you're going to have to go first, sir. So, man, I was hoping to see a little more of Lawrence Fishburne. But that one is a good movie. I forgot what it's called, but it just came out. So, you'll see that one. So, Manifest, the one with Liam Neeson. It's something, um, some guys got stuck in a, in a mine. And I just, just go watch it. So, listen, listen, let me see my, oh, my brain. Ooh, this will make me nervous about start school. Um, Sydney had to babysit. <laughs> Uh, newborn. I think the baby, how old is that baby? Three months? He's a chunk lunk. And a three, no, the little girl's two. Oh, cute as a button. Oh, the two year old. Cute, 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 cute. I didn't get a chance to play with the baby because he was asleep by the time I made it over there. And she struggled a little bit. Her nerves were bad because she's not used to an infant. And then she's talking to the baby. I forgot the baby's name. Three months now. Yeah, I think he's three three months. Let's just say his name is um, Michael. What do you want, Michael? You, you want to eat? You want to eat? I said, why are you talking to that baby like he's going to answer you back? <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, I think I'm going to take some more of that Buckley's. I'm sorry, y'all. And I was like, why are you talking to the baby? So I went over and kept the company for a couple of hours to help her out. And I read to the little girl. And it's the book that I used to read to all of my kids, Roly Poly Oly. I have a video on it too. <clears throat> so I read the story to the little girl. She loved it. Then she, she shot up, went to her room, ran to her room, and came right back. 
<laughs> with another book. I was like, oh, okay. I am say, this is it. You get a two book limit, little girl. Snap. But she was so, so cute. So sweet. And so I told Cindy if the parents needed help throughout the summer um, to let me know that I would love them. Then the little girl would boo boo because they're trying to potty train a girl. Baby. Is she in the pull up? Ooh, wait! Ooh, it was not pretty. I said, Sydney, you can't pull it down. You gotta rip the socks. <laughs> so I had to help Sydney. Oh my god, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. <laughs> but baby, if I was to watch those kids, she'd be on that toilet every two minutes. Look, every twenty. Let's go party. Let's go. Mm -mm. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't mind. I just, I just, I wish I had a little a chance to be the little baby. So sweet. I love little babies. I love kids in general. So anyway, I have ran my mouth too much. I know I did. <laughs> and if you are still here, oh, I love you. <laughs> so I'm gonna shower and probably crawl in my bed commit to reading about 30 minutes of this book I have I sleep with my books on my bed y'all so I have this book I'm reading this book I'm browsing through this book I'm browsing and these are books I've had for years and this is my school's textbook which I'm not sure I'll get too much out of the textbook this year because with the teacher group that I joined the resources are out of this world out of this world I'm like and, and, and it'll engage the kids this is you read the story answer the questions but when you with this um, the group is to get kids engaged and it's really for middle school and so I really 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 like it I'm not sure if it's just for ELA it should I think it's just for English so if anybody's interested who teach middle school um, English, let me know and I will share um, the name of the group. It's really good. So I, I just said, let me see what a membership off me. Because I'm like, I ate fast food all day today. So I didn't eat breakfast, but I didn't want to go to the play hungry. So I grabbed Chick-fil-A. They have no fries. The, told my their fryer was broken. So I just ate the sandwich. I was like, damn, I'm still hungry. So coming back, I was like, I'm still hungry. I know we don't have anything at home quick to eat. We got something to eat, but nothing quick. And I knew nothing was in the refrigerator for me to warm up. So I was like, oh, let me just stop it. Make that. So I ate fast food all day today. So I'm going to commit to eating clean tomorrow <laughs> I, I'm gonna eat clean I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do better so it, I was talking about the membership so I spent eight dollars one thing of the six dollars so I was like all the junk food I didn't ate this past couple of days or last two weeks I didn't pay, pay for my membership something that's invaluable so I was just like you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat um the membership fee is 33 you pay 33 33 dollars a month and you could cancel at any time and so you get new resources every month new teacher trainings new stuff is continuous and then you are part of a special private group the resources Ooh, I could plan my entire school year on their resources that are fun engaging it um, meets all the standards but it's fun stuff not stuff that you're gonna get from the textbook read the story answer the questions nothing compared to this <clears throat> so um, I'm really excited about doing the two-day plan it's called batch planning and so I'll probably have the whole year planned out which I've never in my life done before. So I'm super, super, and it's part of the group. So I'm super, super excited and they walk you through the process. So anyway, enough teacher talk, <laughs> but it's, it's just my life now. So you just gotta go with the flow. There's some new changes coming down the pipe. Um, it is what it is. So I'll let 
let you guys know what's up with that <laughs> all right if you are still here thank you if you are new a oh, welcome 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 <clears throat> i love you and i'm going to get ready for bed good water but i'm gonna take some of that buckley's before i go to sleep <clears throat> that's ooh. That's that old school stuff, that Buckley's. <laughs> it's like Vicks. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me uh, get in the shower. I just feel uh, like I want to shower and just, just get cozy in my bed and commit to reading for a little bit before I turn on the TV to watch Manifest. And I'll probably, probably be up until 4 o'clock again. So it's 12.20 now. Oh my gosh, I'm, I don't talk too much, y'all.